Okay, so in order to load a project into Kingdom, I actually find it easier to first load it into Doug Insight, get the parameters from that, and then from there load it into Kingdom Suite. Okay, so you open up Doug Insight, you click on Create New, choose a directory, so um, go to the location where you want to save your project. So I'm going to call this Kivitsa Test. Okay, and I click Save. Yes, I want to convert it to a Doug folder. Select the coordinate system. Um, so you've just got to check the coordinate system of your survey. My one I know is UTM 33 North. So I collect a select CS a CRS. I select it from the standard table. Here I'm going to just write WGS 84 because I know that that is my datum. And if I scroll down, I'll eventually get to WGS 84 UTM. So you can see WGS 84 UTM, and mine is. UTM 33 North because this is actually in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, just double checking it, yep, and I'm going to click OK. At the moment I'm not going to select anything under datum. Usually there is a reference datum um, and so this is the height to which everything's projected and I know mine is 290 meters and I click OK and now I'm going to click launch because I'm launching the Segway loader. Okay, and now it's a 3D volume. Mine is in time. I'm not loading the gathers. I click next. Add files. Um, here is my time segue files. And I click next. And now this is possibly the worst part in Doug just because you need to know what column numbers your inline and cross line are at. So you can see mine says zero now, and it's because these column numbers are incorrect. And so I have this in a document, and so I know that this should be um, 9, column 9, and column 13. And you can see here is my inline and crossline values. You could also um, open this in a Segway viewer and um, understand these column numbers better. I will try to do a tutorial on that. And then I'm going to click here, and my X and Y values I know are in column 73 and 77 and you can see as soon as I put those values in you're getting these UTM X and Y values I click next it gives me an error I click yes <laughs> um, it's nothing serious I click next and I click start to analyze the data everything's turned up blue so everything's fine I click next and this is the screen that I need it's giving me inline and cross line values and the x and y values at those inline and cross line. So we're going to need these values in Kingdom to tell them what the navigation file is. And that's really just telling Kingdom the coordinates um, for your survey. Okay, and you can see if you use the program such as size C, you can open up, click here, go open, and you can open up your Segway data and this is what will show up something like that initially and if you go to the top here to trace headers this is where I got the column numbers for determining um, my inline and cross line and the X and Y it's not always well labeled so it can be a bit difficult to see so you can see here that um, initially I chose column 9 for my inline and 13 for my um, cross line and so you can see here column 9 is actually listed as being an FFID original field record number 13 is trace number within the field record but if I select them you can see they appear on the side here and these are similar uh, these are exactly the same values as the inline and cross line values yeah. for the survey so you've yeah. kind of got to have an idea of what numbers you are looking for you can see if I click on the next one here shot point and CDP ensemble number so shot point shows up as a zero and CDP mm. shows up as these inline and cross line numbers back to back yeah. So you kind of have to know what you're looking for. Um, my X and Y values were in columns 73 and 77. And so you can see here it says source X, source Y is listed here. And, and below if I click on group X, group Y, there's zeros. So you've just got to look through here and try to understand which columns is which data. So this is where I got those the values of 9, 13 for inline cross line and 73, 77 for my X and Y.
Okay, so now I can go over to Kingdom and create a project. So I'm going to call it Kivitsa Test 2 because I've tried this before. Um, and I'm going to call it Kivitsa Test 2 and put it in that folder and click Create. Um, are you sure you want to create another? Yes, I'm fine with that. I'm going to click OK. I use Auto Server and then it just loads everything. OK, it's just going to click OK here. So project options, mine's all in meters and my datum was 290, so the height to which everything is set. Click OK. It says, you want to change? Yes. Do you want to use the coordinate system from existing project? Um, yes or no. I'm going to click no. And then I'm going to choose my coordinate system. So we said it was UTM. So I click here. WGS84. And then it was 33 North. So I click on 33 North. Click OK. And then it's going to load in my base map here. Okay, so now you're going to load the survey. So you go surveys, input seg1, go to import 3D survey, change this to 3D. You're going to browse here to your file where you saved your seg1 data. For some reason mine doesn't show up, so I have to go all files and I have to click on time. I'll make sure it's in time or depth if yours is in depth. Click next. Let me pause this and just close um, some of the other stuff that I'm doing. Okay, it actually turned out because I had it open in size C, I wasn't able to do, go further. So I've closed size C, I'm going to click next, I'm going to click next, call the survey Kivitsa 2, and now here I've got to put my inline minimum and maximum values. So my, sorry, my minimum values here is 1000 for both of them and then my maximum value is for the inline is 1286 and for the cross line is 1279 I'm, I'm not actually sure about the increments here I've left it as one and um, it can be different for different surveys I'm not sure 100% how to determine that um, do you wish to load the world coordinates now yes so now we're going to use these values from Doug and put them here so that Kingdom can tell what the coordinates are for the different inline and cross lines. The easiest thing to do is to just highlight it, copy and paste and make sure to take out this comma. And so I'm going to do that now for all these values. I'll pause the video and so you're going to copy and paste all of these into the table. Okay, so you can see I've put all the values in here. I click next and you can see now it's picking up the different line, mm. inline and cross lines and the coordinates of it and it's creating this survey. The other thing to look at is it says here um, wall coordinates are orthogonal, calculated inline bin spacing and cross line bin spacing and you can check that these values are the same as in Doug here. And the orientation of the inline is minus approximately mm. 20 degrees and so you can see that looks about right for the survey here and obviously your angle between your inline and your cross line is 90 degrees and so now you can click finish and you can see the values it's got in here and you can click next and next and next and you can click finish and it's going to start loading it up okay and now you will see we've actually got a problem because it says traces loaded zero traces skipped 80,000 so we have no data loaded here so if you click OK um, it's got your grid but if you double click on it nothing's happening and so let's go back and go import segwa um, click next double check that it's looking in the right place and it's got the file next click next next so it says the seismic uh, data has already been loaded for the survey do you want to merge or do you want to replace so I'm going to say merge and so it's okay. saved thankfully my inline and cross line values so the main problem here 
is the fact that I have left these values as the original column numbers for the inline and cross line, and that's wrong. So it's looking in the wrong column for the data, so it's, that's why it's not finding anything. So I actually need to change this to 9 and 13, which were the columns for the inline and for the cross line. And so now if we click Next, um, so the other thing to change is this here to the start time byte location in trace header and so mine is 109 but you can try, I'm also again not sure how to find that value, if anybody knows please write in and um, so you can try 105, 109 and now if you click finish um, I can say yes all maps will be closed let's see if it's loaded all the data You can see now it's taking a hang of a lot longer to load, so it must be working correctly. So I'll pause just until the data is loaded. Great, so you can see it says trace is loaded 80,000 and skipped is zero. So it must be right. And you click OK. We're going to go new base map. And so it is now loaded in the survey. If we click down here on survey, you can see it's loaded in Kivitsa 2 and the orientation looks about right and that's how you load the data into Kingdom if you want to double check that there's data there you can zoom in and let's right click and let's display inline 1001 and so the data has loaded correctly